networking in Oracle's Gen2 Cloud, covering how to connect from internet or on-premise, virtual cloud network, subnet, internet gateway, DRG, firewall, load balancers, IPsec VPN tunnel, fast connect, and case study for deploying a highly available application in Oracle Cloud. This is the topic I'm going to cover in this five part video series as episode three of 2019. Welcome to this weekly tip on Oracle Cloud with me Atul Kumar from team K20 Academy where you learn tips, tricks and what's latest on Oracle Cloud. So first of all, the concept of this five part video series came from my training, which is Oracle Cloud Architect Certification. And a lot of guys came with a challenge that they're really struggling with networking in Oracle Cloud, whether they're deploying databases, applications, or anything to do with any configuration or deployment on Oracle Cloud, the biggest challenge is networking. So I decided to do a five part video series so that you understand the basic concepts around networking in Oracle's Gen2 Cloud OCI. So let's first see what topics we are going to cover in this five part video series. So in video one, which is this one, we are going to look at who should learn networking and why. Then towards end, I'm going to give you one activity guide where I'll be sharing a step by step hands on guide that you will use to register for Oracle public cloud trial account because we are going to then in subsequent videos, we are going to create some networking components like virtual cloud network or subnets or load balancer that you should be able to create using this trial account. So make sure you do this activity guide by end of this video. Then in video two, we are going to look at how to connect to Oracle cloud. There are three different ways. One is using public IP. Second is using fast connect or third is using IPsec VPN tunnel. So we'll have a look at all three. And in this video, we're also going to look at some of the basic concepts in Oracle's Gen2 Cloud, like region availability domain, because that are applicable for networking like VCN, subnet, or compute. So in towards end of video two, I'm also give you a action plan so that you can go and create a compute or a database and then see how do you connect to this database or compute. Then in video three, we are going to look at some of the basic building blocks of networking and how they are applicable or how they are related to on-premise network configuration. When you're deploying in any application, where are these components are being used? So we'll look at things like virtual cloud network, subnet, dynamic routing gateway, internet gateway, or routing in OCI, that's Gen2 Cloud. Now. So similar to first two videos, this third video will also have some tasks for you to perform on cloud. So you'll be creating the virtual cloud network or subnet in OCI, that's Gen2 Cloud. Then in video four, we are going to look at another important topic, which is load balancer. And that's important if you're doing or deploying highly available application like two node or three node or multiple node application tier servers. We'll look at two different type of load balancers, public and private load balancer. Again, in this video also towards end, I'm going to tell you how you can go and create this load balancer. Then in fifth and final video, we'll take you to the case study of a implementation, explaining all those topics that you have learned in the first four videos. So how do you configure virtual cloud network or where exactly you will be deploying it? How do you deploying an application across a region? or how do you deploy the load balancer? Where do you deploy? So case study. And then in video five, I'm going to tell you how to take whatever you've learned into the next level by becoming an Oracle certified cloud architect. Now, whether you already know the cloud or you're already working on this cloud, or you're just starting out as a beginner, this five part video series is going to be very helpful. So trust me, you'll definitely learn something new here. And also, if you like this video, don't forget to share it with your colleagues because we learn better when we are learning together. So now let's first look at why to even learn this networking in Oracle Cloud. Whether you're a DBA, Apps DBA, Architect, Networking Administrator, Unix Administrator, 
everyone must know networking and I'm going to give few examples depending on a role you're playing. So let's assume you are an apps DBA who is managing Oracle eBusiness Suite or PeopleSoft or JD Edward or Siebel and planning to migrate to Oracle Cloud. So this is a high availability including disaster recovery architecture look like. I'm taking an example for eBusiness Suite but that's applicable for all other applications as well. So if you notice here, it looks a little bit cryptic, but by the time we cover this entire series, you will be able to understand this very well. To give an example to this particular diagram, ITER diagram, here represents a geographical location. And within a geographical location, you have this outer in orange dotted line. This is a virtual cloud network. This is similar to the network that you deploy. So this is a another dark outside border that you see. This represents another region. And within that region, you see another dashed line. This is a another virtual cloud network or another network for disaster recovery deployment of your application in another region. So you should know what is a virtual cloud network. And within virtual cloud network, you have a smaller network, which are we call it subnet. So the smaller these dotted line here, you see these are different subnets. So and within these subnets, you deploy your application tier. These two boxes you see here, these are application tier and your database is here represented in another subnet. Then there is a concept of availability domain that I'm going to cover in subsequent lessons where you will see that within a region you have Two availability domain and within availability domain you have different subnets so you have your application tier two application tiers in one subnet another two application tiers in second subnet for disaster recovery you have database in one subnet and the disaster recovery database here configured with data guard that means you need to know how these subnets are defined how this virtual cloud network is defined now in typical on-premise deployment, you have firewall and similar to that in cloud network, you have security list and routing tables. So you should know what role these security lists play and how do you configure to restrict access or allow access from an application tier to the database tier here. Or how do you open connection from a database tier in this subnet onto the DR on this subnet here. This is where configured data guard. Then you would like to configure the load balancer. If you have app multiple application tiers, you would like to configure the load balancers and those load balancers can be a public load balancer or private load balancers. And so that means you need to know the networking on how load balancers are configured and so on. And then you also need to understand how application syncs data from application tier across region or within a region from primary tier to the database tier and so on. Then there are subsequent things like how do you connect from on-premise onto this cloud network or how do you connect from a internet or external web clients connecting via the internet gateway to these application servers. So this is just an example of Oracle applications be it JD Edward, PeopleSoft, eBusiness Suite. Then if you look at if you're a DBA Again, as a DBA, you should know how to deploy a rack application or a single instance Oracle database that you can do. If you're doing a rack, you're going to do it within a region, within an availability domain. Then you should know how to configure the standby. And for that, you need to allow network connection. And that means you need to know how that network traffic moves, what port numbers you need to open across region or within a region. Now, I've touched base earlier a little bit briefly in terms of when you're configuring the data guard, how you need to open port numbers. You may also want to configure the backup and to an object storage. And so again, how does that connectivity happens from your database server onto the object storage tier? And if you're running a mission critical application, then you would like to have a high availability across regions. And in that case, there is a software 
which if you are a DBA, you may already be familiar called Oracle Golden Gate. And Oracle Golden Gate can be used for cross region replication. That means you should know how the networking happens across a region. Now in subsequent videos, I'm going to talk you something about VCN peering where you can do remote VCN peering so that the connectivity is quicker or faster across regions. So you should know how to configure that connectivity. Now, whatever I've told you just so far is all about Oracle Cloud Infrastructure or OCI, that's generation two. Now, if you're working on generation one, which is OCI Classic, a lot of these customers are still working on that Classic. And in that, there's a slightly different concept where there's a things like IP exchange, IP network, shared network, security rules, and all these are related to the networking or how do you open ports across different network or subnets. So you should know about that. Now, if you're working on Fusion middleware, WebLogic, application server like SOA suite or OBI, then for high availability deployment, you know that you can deploy it on across multiple servers. And that means you need to know how to configure the load balancers, how load balancer connect to these multiple application servers. Similarly, if you're a security administrator, you would be interested in knowing how do these ports being opened or how do you allow connection from application tier to the database tier? What are the security rules or egress or ingress rules to allow or to open up the ports? And same goes for system administrators or Unix administrators. Like when you need to do the backups, how do you configure or open connection for backup on the management port. If you are an architect, then you would like to know how you're going to deploy high availability within a region, across region, or configure the disaster recovery. So again, as I said at the start, whether you're a DBA, apps DBA, architect, security administrator, pretty much everyone should know about networking. Now with cloud, your role have shrink and you should have the fair understanding of all these concepts. Now. If you are appearing for Oracle Cloud Architect Certification 100932, networking plays a big role in that. And approximately 30% of the exam questions come from the networking module. Rest all are related to identity access management, storage, compute, or database. But if you see here, networking is 30%, so big weight is on networking. And hence, in our certification training, we cover networking extensively. So in week two, we have a dedicated networking topic covered in detail. Similarly, on week three, we have a topic on load balancers, where you cover, look at both public and private load balancer, how do you configure the backend sets, etc., as you do in on-premise. Then on week five, again, there's a dedicated topic on DNS, domain name server, how do you configure, because that's what you're going to do in the practical implementations. Then in week six, again, we have advanced networking where connectivity like virtual cloud network or fast connect or remote peering as I was talking about across regions or connecting two networks across regions or in high availability disaster recovery module in week seven. Hope you understand that how critical networking is in on the cloud deployments. So now you understand the importance of learning networking on cloud. So the best way to learn is by doing some hands-on or by actually performing some task. So here is your today's task. You must go and register for a Oracle cloud trial account. And for that, I've created a step-by-step -step activity guide. Now we are going to use this cloud account in subsequent videos when we are going to talk about how to access services on Oracle public cloud or how to create virtual cloud network, or how do you configure one machine to talk to another machine. So you go to this URL, k20academy.com forward slash cloud 01, and it will re redirect you to a page where I've created a step-by-step -step activity guide. And in this step-by-step -step activity guide, you will learn how to create a free trial account, how to access and customize the cloud dashboard, and how to generate SSH keys. So you must perform these three tasks. And in the next video, I'm going to cover how to connect to Oracle Public Cloud, and we are going to connect to a Linux machine. You can also connect to a database. 
So we'll use these SSH keys and machine running on a public IP to connect to this cloud account. So click on yes, mail me the free guide, enter your name and email address. The phone number is optional. And you can also, if you would like to subscribe to our blog, you can select subscription to blog and then click on yes, mail me the free guide. Then in your inbox, go and check a link that will give you a link to download the activity, this step-by-step -step activity guide. So when you download this activity guide, you will get a PDF with content like register for Oracle Cloud and customize cloud dashboard, generate SSH keys and connect to Oracle Cloud. Now in that follow steps on section three, which is step to register for Oracle trial account. We are going to use this account in subsequent videos where we go and perform networking tasks, including how to connect to a Unix machine or creating virtual cloud network, subnets, load balancers and other activities. You should also do customized dashboard and generate SSH keys. And in the next video, we're going to learn on how to connect to Oracle cloud on machines. So we'll pick one of the Linux machines or we might pick a database machine on OCI and that we connect using PuTTY through SSH keys. So you must generate this SSH keys that will help us in next video. So make sure by the time I release the next video, you have these SSH keys ready. Now, if you have any doubt in this video or doing any of this activity, then you can post any queries or doubts in our private Facebook community by going to this URL ktoninacademy.com forward slash 1009321QA where 1009321 is the certification exam. 12 is the series for this video series for registering for this video series and then QA is for question answer. This URL will take you to the private Facebook community where you can post question related to this video series. Well, that's it for today. And in the next video, I'll cover three ways to connect from on-premise or internet to the cloud. We'll look at how to connect using public IP or IPsec VPN tunnel or fast connect. We'll also have a look at one of the two most common but important concepts that region and availability domain and how they're linked to the virtual cloud network that's VCN and subnet. So if you have not registered for the five part video series, then do so by going to this URL ktoninacademy.com forward slash 1009321. You'll be notified every time I release a new video via email. And in that email, I'll also share some tasks for you that you need to perform. And remember, we learn better when we perform these tasks. Now create a trial account on Oracle Public Cloud by using my step-by-step -step guide that you can get it from ketoneacademy.com forward slash cloud01. And if you hit any problem or any doubt, or if you have any question, then discuss it in our private Facebook community. That's ketoneacademy.com forward slash 1009321QA. You will land on a thread like this and check first of all what doubts other, others have if you could answer their questions and post at the end any question related to this five part video series. And final word, if you like today's video, then don't forget to share it with your colleagues. And I'll see you in next video soon.